Where are you? Oh, I can't even see it on this thing. So today is one of our fun days. Brent and I are gonna go out and do a little practicing with the drone again. So we find a cool place to tie up the dinghy because there's no docks around here. We're still in Paradise Beach in the island of Kariku. Very fast becoming one of my favorite spots. We really like it here. It's very quiet, laid back, subdued. And as you can see, beautiful beach and dinghy right there. So we got the dinghy safely stowed at anchor. Got a really cool beach bar sitting right there. But we found a really cool place just up the road, just a couple of minutes, a couple minutes walk up the road. And it's at the stadium where all the kids train and do track and field and all of that. So, so today we decided to go up a little bit earlier and try our luck at flying maybe just after lunchtime when hopefully the kids are still in school. So that's what we're gonna do now. So this is our walk from the main street. This goes across the front of the beach. All the way down the road. And you can just see the stadium just up there on the left. What day is today? Uh, it's Wednesday, I think. It's bad when even Brenda doesn't know what day it is. Really, really hot pavement. Well, yeah, it's close to noon, so the pavement's hot. Yeah, we found this spot over here also. It looks like an awesome place to fly. You can see it looks like a really, really good um, like an obstacle course and everything because it's all clear except for just a few trees in the middle which make great you know pylons for racing around we've had to find the drone and we've had to <laughs> we've had to try and find the drone in grass half that high and it's near to impossible yeah, it must be a recess or something yeah hmm I wonder who we can find out from without alerting the kids to the fact we're here. I see the white shirt kid there now. <laughs> he hasn't spotted us. Let's back up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we gotta hide. Sometimes the kids spot us and they just come a run in full speed. They know we're coming with the drones to play. So. Yesterday when we went in there, we weren't in there 10 seconds before it was just a kid running at us screaming <laughs> across the field. Uh huh. Yeah, and once everyone saw him, it was a mayhem after that. Feels like we're trying to fly with a flock of angry bees. <laughs> this is what it's like trying to fly at a stadium that's also home to a school. <laughs> it's always fun, but yeah, it attracts kids like crazy. I think so. Yep. Oh, careful. What? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, they were practicing this yesterday with me. Hand launching. <laughs> Welcome to the Caribbean, man. If we did that in the US, we'd get arrested, right? Let me see, let me see. Okay. But we sat down in the stadium for a minute and. We had Wi-Fi, so we booted up the laptop and checked out Google Earth. And Google Earth says if we walk about five, ten minutes down this road and up on the left, there should be a huge open field way up there. So we're gonna go check it and see what it looks like. Hopefully, it's not like big tall grass or something. Otherwise, we'll probably be out of luck. But we'll give it a try, see what it looks like. Yeah. Going in search of green pastures, hopefully. After a little hike down off the main street, we found it. And it is beautiful. Nice pasture area behind us, but it is tall grass, lots of shrubs. And this is what we're having to walk through to get there. <laughs> in bare feet. Because we didn't really think we'd need our shoes because we were just going to the stadium. But, yeah. As beautiful as it is, I think if we flew here, we had to recover it once. 
would probably be very unlucky. <laughs> hey, the wind sock's gone off the microphone. Have you got it? Okay, it must have fell off somewhere on our track. We'll have to look for that on the way out. Yeah, how you doing back there? Hot. You alive? Barely. <laughs> Luckily, we uh, scoured the side of the road on the way back and managed to find <laughs> our windsock for the microphone. So that was very lucky. It fell off as we were walking up in search of the field. So that would have been nasty if we lost that. This is my best microphone. Odds are nothing broke this time. Not great. I don't see a battery. I see a messed up prop. Battery kept going. Multiple messed up props. Yeah, there's no battery on it. So I think it was one of the green posts back here or something. I don't know. I just couldn't pull out of it in time and it just slammed into it. Battery looks like it took the brunt of it. Hopefully it's not shorted, but let's see. Fly. Just needs to uh, fix this Velcro a little better. But she'll fly again. How cool is that? That was hard, hard hit. The camera's pointed. The camera's pointed down. Hmm. That's not what you want. <laughs> no, I'm sure it had to hit straight on. It's like, oh my god, it hit hard. packed afternoon. Didn't expect it to take three, four hours just to fly three or four batteries. But it was fun. I made a good time. And just stop back at the beach bar, pick up a carob, wind down the day, and go back and see how Sasha's doing. She wanted to go to shore afterwards after happy hour. So that'll be next on the agenda. And here we are. Pull anchor and go. 